what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is desi and this is desi television so i know it's been like a few weeks since i posted my any video in, in regards to anything um i'm gonna be real with y'all y'all know it's been a lot going on um it's tax season we have a new president all types of stuff is going on and my hands have been wrapped up in so many things and i've been just trying to be on the hush with certain things but now i just can't anymore so i'm gonna just put it out there your girl is gearing up to travel and simultaneously trying to do youtube while traveling is not as easy as it look you know what i'm saying like it's only been a year um not technically a full year because i left japan 2020 of april so it's not even been a full year so i left everything to my name as a nomad so having all the equipment that i've had for years under my small business i've had to sell much equipment many of my things living a nomad life that's what happens when you live a nomad life so now i'm getting back to rebuilding that stuff to give you guys good quality stuff as i travel um so trying to just build that back up as well as finance budget properly um traveling moving forward um it's been a little tough and then your girl got taxes taxes is no joke guys because i am a owner of an llc and because i was working overseas i have to include taxes in regards to that taxes of what's been going on here in america and your girl is really trying to step it up and get um some like grants and stuff so that i can quickly um you know just build my business back up and, and and take it another notch you know i'm trying to really take it forward but if you are new to this channel again my name is desi um in this video, I want to show you guys or just explain about five tips really quick of how you can travel with or without a job anywhere, at least on planet Earth. I'm not talking about space. I ain't on that point. I know I'm representing NASA, but I'm just going to talk about here on planet Earth. Yes, with or without a job. And I'm not going to go into like super details because I'll have more videos for that. But I'm going to give you five quick tips because your girl is right now working simultaneously on so many trips. I got like resorts and flights booked and I'm not going to give it away, but I got some international. I have some domestic and my head is like this and my pockets are like, what are you doing? and and it's a lot but um your girl is here to stay in america as a home base however i still have unfinished business overseas and so many other places i'd like to see so let's get right into it um if you're not already subscribed to this channel please go ahead and click that button below subscribe um, like comment share this is the beginning of many other videos again when i build up my equipment the more you will get to see so much more and i will explain all the places that I will be privileged to travel to moving forward and I still gotta explain some places that I've been to before of how I made it to Japan and lived there and worked there. But again, let's get right to it, right? So I got notes, I'm a little dork or whatever, sorry. I'll get better and memorize it, but honestly, I've been, I've just been doing a lot. So, how to travel anywhere with or without a job. Tip number one, I mean, I, I gotta say, you gotta know what the location is. Know where you're going, know where you want to go. So whether it's to just visit or it is to live, you need to know it. And I don't mean just like, oh, you know, I'm tired of living where I've been living and I just want to try something new and I don't know, whatever. No, like this needs to be something that's like, been on your spirit on your mind like this is somewhere you felt that it's been calling your name for a very long time and you need to be there for some odd reason or you know the reason and you visited before or you've heard about it you've read books you need to know the no location of where you want to go um so that you can focus solely on making it happen all right so just tip number one know where you want to go all right Tip number 
two, two. Believe it is possible. Believe it is possible. I have to really um, express this thorough doubt and uncertainties will happen. Okay. It just, it just will. It could be yourself talking yourself out of it, or it could be people around you, you know? And it doesn't mean that the people around you are necessarily all negative. They could want the best for you, but they've never might done what you're expressing that you feel as though you want to do. And that's okay, it's human-like, but you need to know that it can happen. You have to believe it. If you don't believe it, then it's not going to happen. I can't express that enough. Um, when I traveled to California for the first time, when I went to move, um, I had people who talked me, were trying to talk me out of it or telling me all the things of why I wasn't prepared and what could happen and all the things, yada, yada, yada. But I wanted to get out of Philadelphia so bad that you could not tell me that I was not going to California. So it was just something where it was just like nothing could stop me. So you need to have tunnel vision, okay? You just you just have to believe it in yourself. And that's really tip number two, believe it. Tip number three, have a game plan. Yes, tip number three, have a game plan, okay? Um, when I first initially started my journey of traveling, I had a game plan and it wasn't perfect, but I had one. And therefore, it still allowed me lead room to not be completely, um, you know, in a bad situation altogether. I had some type of plan, you know, you gotta have some type of plan. And that plan um, can mean budgeting. Yes, it means budgeting. I'm not gonna say can mean, it means budgeting. So budgeting literally everything. And with budgeting comes research, okay? Because if you're with a job or without a job, you need to know what you're prepared for. Are you working off of savings? Are you preparing to have a job ahead of time set up? Are you rich? Are you, you know what I mean? You have to know things thoroughly. Where are you gonna lay your head? Um, how are you gonna feed yourself? all those good things. So you want to do your research. I mean, for me personally, when I did my research to first move to Cali, even all the way to any place I've lived, I lived in Colorado or when I lived in Japan, ahead of time I was doing research, I was talking to people from these destinations, I was reaching out anyway, family, friends, I was YouTubing, I was Googling, um, I took whatever initiative I could to get any insight I could of what I was preparing myself for. So you want to do your research. Um, and in that game plan, you know, if you're like, I don't have no money, um, but I want to go. And I don't know when I can get the money. There's work exchange programs. There's more videos that I will release about that uh, where you can work anywhere in the world and exchange for somewhere to lay your head. Some programs pay, some don't, but that's a game plan. Um, you could just try to have some type of savings and look ahead of time of what the apartments are or Airbnb. I've airbnb I've hostel hop. Now I got a lot of stories to tell you that comes with that, but there's multiple options. Do your research, do your research. And that brings us to tip number four. Make it manifest. Make it manifest. What do you mean make it manifest? Like just go and do and take the tips that Desi just told you to do? Yes, do that too. But no, make it manifest. Put it in front of your face. Um, so any destination when it's really hard, I'm having like I was at one point I wanted to get out of the United States. I put Japan all over my phone, my laptop. I even did the same thing for um, California, actually. I was always watching videos. I would put photos like around my wall, wherever I would lay my head. I was putting myself in the destination and the location before I got to the location. So you have to make it manifest. What's that saying? Speak it and therefore it shall manifest. Um, yeah, a vision board. I'm going to take you guys right over to uh, my vision board and travel wall that I've been creating these past few um, weeks. Um, it's not finished, so don't judge me. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see that. But before I do that, let's jump into tip number five. Tip number five, plan ahead. Guys, this is from personal experience. I would say plan ahead. Now you'd be like, well Desi, you just told me if you really want to let it be in your spirit, believe it, blah, blah, blah. yeah, but I also am telling you the things that I think is very important for you to know. I'm not telling you this out of, oh, just the side of my neck. I'm telling you out of experience. Planning ahead uh, has, allows you preparation to prepare you for anything unforeseen circumstances like think about it what if you were just right now watching this video and you were back i mean like now we're in the future but what if you were a person watching a video like this in 2019 had no idea that a year like 2020 would happen a whole pandemic you would be kind of messed up like a lot of americans were but I guess I can't say that. We can just scratch that because a lot of people wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared, so never mind. But sometimes preparation can prepare you for unforeseen circumstances. So here are my suggestions in regards to planning ahead. Um, the more time you put into planning it out strategically, like your flights, um, your living arrangements, the more lead room you have to really have money planned for anything, you know what I mean? So like, let's say you're like, I wanna get out of here tonight. I know that feeling, but if you could allow yourself, let's say a six month, a three month, even a three month might be short, but three month to even six months to a year window allows you to not only build a certain type of savings, but do your diligent research. And I'm telling you these things are important because as we all know in life, unforeseen circumstances happen like coronavirus. So just just try to plan as much as you can plan 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 ahead whether it's just for tourism like i got some international um destinations that i want to go and i actually want to take some like month-long trips i'm trying to go to continents like africa you know and spend um, some time visiting some countries out there and you know, the, my spirit is like 2021, 2021, the end of 2021, I'm already looking at flight tickets, but at the same time, I'm thinking about progressing it to be 2022, start paying on it now, but have the trip by, you know, all signs still delivered and I'm flying out in 2022. Therefore, I can live like a queen and do the best experience I want. The more preparation you have, the better you can have an experience the way you want to have it, especially if you're working off of a little to no budget. And just know that nothing's perfect. So whether this is a journey of yours to just take a road trip for two weeks and you have a home um, to come back to, or it's to take on the nomad life and live abroad or live domestically somewhere else, um, just know nothing's perfect, but live in the moment. Um, live in the moment because when you travel you're it's such a high sometimes it's such a wonderful high you're seeing something you never experienced you're adding to your legacy you're creating good memories so that's what you want to focus on creating great memories creating your legacy so you want to enjoy the moment the good and the bad because those bad experiences you will if you survive <laughs> Um, take those lessons and apply it to moving forward if you're not traumatized too much. But if you prepare, hopefully you can eliminate, eliminate, eliminate traumatizing situations, you know. Um, and with it being a, a, a different type of normalcy that we all have to adapt to, you just want to be precautious. So you definitely want to plan ahead um, and do your research. So that's just my uh, top five tips of the day of this video um i have more information to share i definitely would love to dive into more details about those things i've listed in those tips um so just if you haven't already subscribe to my channel like comment and share because i got so much more to share with you guys and the beautiful thing with you subscribing with me now is that you will be able to see the process and the progression because like i said i'm committed at least all 2021 to show you how to travel where i've traveled where i'm going to travel um and this is just honestly a commitment i don't want to just say 2021 like I'm, I'm really enjoying myself and um it feels good to get back 
to doing this and doing it the right way. So as I promised, I'm going to show you guys my travel um, travel and vision board wall just to give you a little insight and some motivation. And if you like this, again, share, like, comment, because I like to continue to keep doing this but the only way we can do this to it together is if you help me build an audience you know because you know honestly truly i'm trying to get to the point where i've touched as much corners of this earth as much as i wanted to and if in this lifetime because i know they said nasa and all them talking about the elevators the space and uh, listen i want a ticket put me on sign me up i'm trying to go i would love to be like oh yeah where'd you go this weekend oh uh, man you know i just went to the moon nothing crazy something lightweight you know what i'm saying you know um next summer me and my best friend we was talking about going seeing uh mars you know something you know, something lightweight, you know what I mean? It helped me uh, uh, avoid these wrinkles, you know. <laughs> but yeah, all right. To the vision board we go. All right, guys. So, as promised, I wanted to give you a glimpse of my vision board and travel wall. So right now, the vision board is blank, okay? Um, I'm still working on it because I want to actually like cut out some pictures from a magazine and um, possibly just print it out. But I want to be really precise because the last time I attempted doing a vision board was last year in Japan and we all know what happened, 2020. So a lot of anticipated things that I thought that I was going to happen or try to make happen, it just didn't go in my favor. But I'm going to give it one more try. I'm going to give it one more try because the last time I did a vision... Um, type of thing or deal it was a list I did a list I typed it um, I think in 2019 and for the most part a lot of things were knocked out so I'm not going to totally give up on them and say they don't work because they do work I journal my visions as as much as possible throughout the year as well to keep it in front of my face so right now I just got a mug shot of me um, here uh, from Japan okay so I have my my whiteboard this is just like things checklists i have for myself in march um for each month like rent bills what have you and wants needs and then i'll have like my equipment list or whatever so this is just like goals for me to task off but even in these monthly tasks i have my travel expectations and breakdown of how i'm budgeting it and how i'm paying it off i'm also going to put the locations that i really want to make happen this year um put it on this vision board and print it out make it colorful or fancy um so right here is what i like to call um a traveling envelope budget wall i actually stole this idea from pinterest i don't remember the post i would share it and put it in the description if i remember it but i remember seeing it years ago and always saying i wanted to attempt to do it and i was going to a long time ago but things kept getting in the way so now i'm finally here and i don't just have like destinations of where i want to travel to on here but i also have envelopes for things that i want to accomplish like i want to get um an audi audi car i want to um build up like you know savings personal savings equipment what have you so i actually put cash in here i live in the suburbs so i'm not really concerned with people robbing me and i have rental insurance but if you don't feel comfortable with putting cash you can do a tally system um or putting fake money like monopoly in the envelopes and if you have it in your accounts to keep it up with just so it's in front of your face that's another suggestion i just look like looking at real money you know what i'm saying i'm just a money person but um this is my personal way of preparing myself for certain trips and on each little slip it has different destinations you know if the date's already set like i already have this set a date it's already paid for it with the flight what have you and then i have destinations on the back and if they run out then i'll just rewrite them but as each destination comes closer what i like to do 
especially if the flight and resorts are already paid for, I like to start breaking down the spending money. Because these trips I've planned ahead, it leaves me a lot of lee room between checks or whatever hustle that I have going on to be able to create a wall of spending money. And I also like changing the American currency into their currency to be able to spend money in their currency when I'm out there. That's why I do cash. But like I said, it's my personal preference. Do whatever you suggest or whatever you feel is way. You can just mock it to whatever works for your for yourself. But my next destination is Mexico. So I have an envelope already created for spending money to be dumped in there. And as I move closer to other destinations, I will start other envelopes. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, for this video, guys. And if you like it, if you like to travel, well, give it a thumbs up just to give me a little closer look, you know what I'm saying? Money, 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 money. So, again, guys, if you liked uh, this video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share, and uh, look forward to the next upcoming videos. Definitely going to try to drop some more this week, and there's more to come every week. Thank you for supporting me. Peace out. Be safe. Travel with precaution.